Hey everyone, welcome into the Flippin' Hippos YouTube channel. I'm Star, and if you're new here or you haven't already, please consider subscribing and helping us feed a hungry hippo, and don't forget to hit the thumbs up. Today we're taking a look at plush that sold on eBay in the month of December. You can see all the tabs open at the top. I have pulled up every single sale from December that was a plush on eBay. So there's a lot here to get through. I counted the tabs at the top twice and I got 56 one time, 57. So I went into my solds on eBay and got 55 two times. And then I went into those perfectly and counted and got 56. So there were 55 for 56 plushies that sold. I am going to be coming out with another video later in this month with all of our plush that sold in December for Q4, including all of our platforms. These are just the eBay. We'll go with, say, 56. You can count as we go along if you'd like. So we're going to start with this monkey. I'm going to go relatively fast because it is a lot. This is a teaching channel, and I usually take a little bit of time to talk about each plush individually. But I also do a weekly What Sold video every week where I do have all of these plush and talk more in depth. And some of these guys made our top 10 best or worst plushie sold in 2023. So you can also watch those videos if you haven't. This is a Kelly Toy Monkey. I took a best offer of $7.50 on this monkey. And also, if you're new here and you're wondering about our cost of goods, I buy almost 100% of all of my plush these days wholesale from various sources. And they always come out to about 50 cents to maybe a dollar 20 a piece, depending on shipping. This yellow dog and his friend, the pound puppy, sold together to one buyer. The buyer paid $18.12 total for both plus shipping. Next up, we have a Thai Beanie Buddy. This is Princess Diana 14 inch. So this is not the small beanie bear. Or Beanie Baby. This is the Beanie Bubby. Beanie Bubby? <laughs> beanie Buddy. It's a little bit larger. And it sold for $12 plus seven shipping. Next, we have a vintage applause Walt Disney Dalmatian dog. Took a best offer on this of $9 plus five shipping. A Build a Bear outfit. So this is a. What's your favorite flavor from the movie Hop t-shirt, pair of purple shorts, and some Skechers. I just kind of built the outfit myself out of a wholesale lot I purchased. And I took a best offer on this outfit of $12.50 plus $5.50 shipping. Next up, I have a fish that doesn't even have a brand. It's just a super generic swordfish. And I sold it for $5.41. Plus six shipping. Next, I have a Build a Bear shirt. It's like a little white t shirt with a button front plaid over shirt, but it's all connected. So it's one shirt. Sold for $5 on a best offer plus five shipping. Next, we have a Fiesta blanket baby. This is a tiger that comes with a little blanket that's attached to him. These are cute. This sold for best offer of $7.88 plus six shipping. Next up, we have a Mojang Minecraft skeleton and a Nintendo Super Mario Yoshi that sold together to one buyer who paid $21.88 for both plush plus shipping. An Adventure Planet little pink stegosaurus. I like Adventure Planet. They usually have pretty good plush. Sometimes you get the lower end ones like this little guy. I did take $9.89 in a best offer plus $5.50 shipping. A jelly cat. This is Choo Choo, the puppy dog. And I did use the keyword raggedy because he does look a little rough. I took a best offer on him of $21 plus $5.50 shipping. Wild Republic is another brand that usually has really good realistic plush. The larger ones sell for more money. This little owl coin purse 
Sold for best offer of five dollars and one cent plus six shipping. A Stephen Smith teddy bear took a best offer of eight dollars and fifty cents plus five fifty shipping. This build a bear shooting star unicorn who is super cute and so pretty. Look at her. She sold along with her friend the Fiesta. Jesus loves me a ton. Isn't that a cute play on words? Hippopotamus. The two sold to one buyer. Total cost was $35.81. All in with shipping. And they also bought a tank top. So they bought the two plush, a shirt, and paid $35.81 for all three items. Next, we have a Build-A-Bear dog. I let go for a best offer of 10 plus six shipping. Got a little tongue out. He's cute. Next, I have a vintage 90s Dandy Snowflake Teddy Bear from 1995. I let this one go for 13 plus 13 shipping, so 26 all in for this super cute Dandy Snowflake Teddy. Y'all know, if you've been watching this channel for any length of time, I love the Snowflake Teddies. Here's a Dandy Puppy Dog. This is a jumbo plush, 24 inches. And you can see here, I think I've showed you this before. When I have a big plush like this, I'll take a picture of the whole length of the plush and then a close-up of the actual inches, just for the buyer to have a reference. Jumbo plush are good in any brand or any animal. When they're giant and big, you can charge a lot of money, and they're going to be willing to pay the shipping on them as well. This sold for $19.39 plus $13 shipping. A Build-A-Bear How to Train Your Dragon. This is Light Fury, the white dragon, and it is Build-A-Bear. Sold for $10.49 plus 13 shipping. Vintage FAO Shorts Patrick the Pup. This is also a pretty big plushie. It's uh, 16 inches, but it's really big. Like the head is bigger than my head. This was a really large plush. And you can see, because I charged $17.99 for shipping, that it weighed over 30 pounds. And they also paid $32.41 for the plush itself. So all in, this was a little over $50. Keep your eyes out for these jumbo plushies, guys. And FAO Shorts is also a good brand. We have a Hallmark Itty Bitty Star Wars Yoda, who was featured in the Top 10 Worst Plush video. Poor guy. He sold for $4.99 plus five shipping. Here's Hulk from Marvel Kids. He sold for $6.29 on a best offer and $5 shipping. And he did talk. When you squished him, he like roared and stuff. Peppa Pig from Nick Jr. and her little ballerina tutu. She sold for $5.74 plus five shipping. These smaller Peppa Pigs are going to be just filler bread and butter, unless you can find the larger ones or the interactive ones that talk. And the other characters, like the mom and the dad and the dinosaur, have a higher sell-through rate and sell for more. Peppa herself just seems to be a little oversaturated. A plain Build-A-Bear blue t-shirt sold for $5 plus 7 shipping. Another Build-A-Bear outfit. Two skirts and some shoes, so it's not really an outfit. It's just kind of a lot I put together, and it sold for 15 plus 5.50 shipping. So don't be afraid to charge up for your build of air clothes. A flowers ink balloons puppy dog. So I did use the keyword Valentine's Day for this puppy. He does have a little heart shaped nose. He is from a company that sells balloons and flowers. He sold for $6 plus six shipping. Baby Gun. I love Baby Gun. They make plushies specifically for babies with the soft cloth eyes. He sold for $11.24 plus $5.50 shipping. Baby Gap, another brand I really love for baby plushies. It has the soft eyes. And you can use the keyword lovey. And I also threw an Easter because it's a rabbit. Sold for $12.99 plus $5.50 shipping. Folkmanis. Bolo. Be on the lookout for any Folkmanis puppets. Not all of them are created equally and some are going to sell for $100. 
and some are going to sell for $21.44 plus five shipping, just like this hippo, who, by the way, was really hard for me to list. I really liked this hippo, and I was very tempted to keep him. I did get to spend some time with him and play with him before he left. Build the bear, all seasons. This is summer. They had one for each season, and this is the summer bear. Sold for $15.74 plus seven shipping. And Webkins, this is the lionfish, and it did have a sealed code. The sealed code is important to notate in your listing, and whether it's sealed or not sealed, I always put no code for that. I put it in several places. It's important to include for your buyers, for the collectors, but it doesn't always make it worth less or more. Sometimes it's more about the animal. I also look at their tag. They have a number usually, and it tells you what animal it is. So clearly this is a lionfish, and I always put the HM355 or whatever it is in the title. So if you have Gans Webkins, make sure you're notating whether or not you have a code or sealed. There's a place to put it in the item specifics as well when you choose the proper category on eBay. And also look at your tag. Use the exact animal it's calling it. There's some that are just like black bear. You want to use that and you want to use this number. This is what the collectors are searching for. The fish sold for $11.37 plus $5.50 shipping. Vintage gunned snuff bear. So he clearly had a name as well. My name is Snuff. <laughs> he's so cute because his name is Snuff. And he's a bear. <laughs> Sold for $13.12 and five shipping. And I yes, I got a really big kick out of Snuff the Bear. Disney Nightmare Before Christmas. Oogie Boogie from Nightmare Before Christmas movie. So it's a little tiny keychain. Sold for $4.37 plus five dollars. This guy was also in the top worst plushie sold. Sorry, Oogie Boogie. A vintage Wells Blue Bunny ice cream. That's the brand of Blue Bunny ice cream. And the bunny's blue. It's a mascot for the ice cream company. And it is vintage. Very small plush, like seven inches. Sold for $34.16 plus six shipping. Another Hallmark itty bitty. This is our friend the Grinch from Dr. Seuss. He sold for $8.74 plus five shipping. This is a generic, didn't really have a brand. It would have had Walgreens, I guess. Um, but just generic plushies like this all the time. I'll just use really good keywords and I'll be able to sell them. Something like Walgreens, if I had room, like Walmart, Walgreens, things like that. If I have room in the title, I will put it. If I don't, I leave it out and just put it in the item specifics as the brand. And then sometimes in the description itself. Um, but no one's really searching for Walgreens plush. So if you have to leave it out, that's okay. You only get so many characters in your title. It's valuable real estate. So use it wisely. Uh, people are probably more looking for Santa Claus than Walgreens. He sold for $10 plus six shipping. DreamWorks from the Spirit cartoon. This is the Untamed Horse. Sold for $6.12 plus five shipping. A Smurfette. So she didn't have a touch tag or anything. Uh, so I just kind of put like 80s and 90s. I didn't really use the word vintage because I don't know if this plush is vintage. But I know the cartoon was in the 80s and 90s. So I made that decision for the keywords. She sold for $7.87 plus seven shipping. RBI. This is a pretty good brand. It's Ron Benefato Incorporated. I have several of his plush and they do pretty well. This is a mama polar bear with two babies and they're all attached to each other. Super cute. Sold for 14 plus six shipping. Speaking of Peppa Pig's dinosaur, here he is. He sold for 10 plus five shipping. And you can see even this small dinosaur sold for a lot more than Peppa did. And we have another Peppa here. This one sold for $10 plus $5.50 shipping. So this one is 12 inches. It's a little bit bigger and it oinks. And that's why she's worth a little bit more. We have a Thai Sanrio Hello Kitty Ballerina Clip-On. 
sold for eight dollars and one cent plus sex shipping. A vintage baby bear from the Warner Brothers cartoon Three Bears. Sold for $34.01 plus six shipping. And Getty's teddy bear. So this is one of the Ann Getty's babies in a costume. I do like to grab these. They're just bread and butter, but they don't usually sit too long. There are collectors out there looking for these all the time on eBay. She sold for $9.62 plus $5.50 shipping. The Bear Factory. So this is another brand I really like of bears. I love Build-A-Bear. You guys know that. I love the Bear Factory. Void's bears are pretty good, too. Oh, but Bear Factory has some really cute plushies. Like, this one's a frosted red color. This one didn't even take, like, a week or two to sell. Eleven thirty-seven plus 7 shipping. Another contender from the worst plushies of 2023. Lucy Goosey here. Just a beanie baby. Sold for $4 plus five shipping. It took a best offer. Here is another baby doll in a costume. This is not Ann Getty's and it did not have any tags. So I was just very careful to describe it well. A bunny rabbit baby doll with a porcelain face. So this one did actually get shipped in a box because its face was porcelain. The Ann Getty's doll was not porcelain. Build-A-Bear, Great Wolf Lodge. This is Violet. And she didn't take very long to sell either, less than a week. Fifteen seventy four plus seven shipping. A DreamWorks Troll. Four thirty seven plus six shipping. Build a Bear set. This is a hat, scarf, and mittens still together with the tags. Sold for twenty six twenty four plus five shipping. And this actually sold on Christmas Day, I believe, or Christmas Eve. Among Us, this sold within two days of listing, and I did a lot of uh, comping on this. Keith knew what it was right when he saw it, because he's a video game nerd, um, but I just kind of looked at all the different ones, and they, they weren't comping that high, um, but it sold pretty fast, so seven plus five fifty shipping. Jelly Cat's one of those Bolo brands that kind of don't comp as high as they used to because people race to the bottom. I have to mention it at least once every video because you guys need to get it in your head. We should not be racing to the bottom. It brings down the value of brands. This Jelly Cat Giraffe in 2017, I could have sold it for 50 bucks. Don't race to the bottom. 1269 plus 550 shipping. A dandy collector's choice teddy bear. I love dandy. There's some dandy, like the snowflake teddies and other ones that sell for a lot of money. Most of them are going to be bread and butter, but I like them. They're good, recognizable brand. This bear sold for $12.26 plus six shipping. And last but not least is a vintage 1980s CMC teddy bear from 1986. He sold for $11.37 plus $5.50 shipping. So those were all of our plush that sold on eBay in the month of December. There were a lot. We sold a lot of plush. In fact, we broke all of our own personal records for the amount of plush that we sold in Q4. And I'll be coming out with that video probably in a week or two of all of our plush that sold. But stay tuned for sales from Poshmark Macari. I still have to do our jeans that sold for December. Lots of great what sold videos, which are informational. It's good information to have. Again, if you have any questions, let me know. Don't forget to join our Facebook group, Flippin' Hippos Reseller Pod. Until next time, go be productive, go make some money. And as always, thank you so, so much for watching. Y'all are the best. Bye.